Joan, thank you so much for taking your time to talk with me. I'm really excited for the new Shazam movie to come out. Where do we pick up with uh, the family and with uh, everything that's going on with Fury of the Gods? Um, well, I mean, I think I think it continues just right from the first one. You know, uh, Billy has already incorporated himself into the family. So he's moved he's moved past the fact where he, he was kind of uh, not sure whether or not he wanted to be a part of this family, if he was ready for that emotionally, mentally, all that. And now he he's ready and he's here. He's spending time with us. We've, we've been in school together for a little bit and stuff. Um, so, you know, we kind of have that family bond kind of um, situated already. Uh, so for this one, we're just kind of minding our business as things kind of brew up in the city of Philadelphia. Um, there's, you know, from the trailers, I'm sure you can kind of see what, what we got to deal with. <laughs> but uh you know, the amazing Lucy Liu and um, Helen Mirren, who are our Calypso and Hespera, as well as Rachel Zegler as Anthea, um, come into our world and come into our lives and kind of take over the scene in a, in a really cool and interesting way. And it all makes sense to the lore. You know, um, our characters primarily derive from the New 52. So uh, we have definitely those still those same elements, you know, with us being involved and all that. And with the wizard there as well he's back um i know in the first one he turned into a pile of ash but he's back and uh i mean I, i'm here for it <laughs> uh you know we we kind of we're growing up we're we're, we're all turning into some well, uh my character and graces primarily are turning into adults or into that transition transition of young adult um so there's that dynamic for sure uh she's still trying to do college um in in london i believe uh so so that's that's the dynamic then there's my dynamic which i can't say too too much but um i will say he does kind of flower a bit in the sense of you know he was very shy and very timid just like minding his business in the first one this time around he's kind of trying to find himself you know he, he is not too sure who he is i mean who else who else has struggled with that a lot of people you know myself included uh finding yourself and and creating who you are who um what you want to be and stuff. So I think he is going through that, that development stage of him figuring out, hey, do I like this? Do I like that? Is my favorite color this? Is my favorite color that? You know what I mean? <laughs> do I like hot dogs or do I like uh, salads? What do I like? So it's just, um, you know, it's, it's a discovery phase right now or, or like or like this this thing. And um, there's also that 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 instant war worry because, you know, we are in a community home or not community, but uh, a family home. Uh, so I like to call them actually opportunity homes. Yeah. So, uh, so I would say because of that dynamic and we are getting older, we're kind of scared, especially Billy that, uh, you know, our parents, Martha and Cooper are not going to want us around anymore because at this point they're going to probably tell us, get a job, find a house, you know, so something like that. Uh, and those are realities to some people. Um, <clears throat> so I would say. That dynamic for sure, the dynamic of the three daughters of Atlas, um, the wizard being back, and our city kind of taking this big bubble on. Like, how did this big bubble happen? It's in the trailer. Where did this big bubble come from? <laughs> you know? And um, yeah, I mean, I mean, the dragon, the, the CG work is crazy. Obviously, we didn't get to see that. It was all tennis balls and and uh spatulas they actually taped the spatula to a stick and that was our eye line for a dragon um so th thankfully a lot of us are very imaginative uh, <laughs> uh but but yeah so so that's pretty much what to expect this movie's really big um i think the world's gonna love it sure well there's so much action there's everything is action-packed with this film how do you guys tend to shake off a long day of shooting when you guys you have your adrenaline running so high all the time? Yeah. Um, well, I, I can't really speak for the rest of the cast, but I know for sure um, this time around, uh, I, I did have kind of a lot of anxiety coming out of, you know, lockdown in the years, the two years that we all experienced and had. Um, so, you know, mental health played a big part in that. You know, I made sure to speak with my hypnotherapist prior to filming and uh, that helped a lot because she kind of helped bring me back to center bring me back to earth uh, and stop being so much in my head and 
and all these things. Um, <clears throat> onsets, uh, primarily, it, it's very hot. It, it's also tropical weather. So it goes from from raining and thunderclouds to sunny and like, you need to take that jacket off, you know what I mean? So um, we had to deal with that. And then we also, you know, of course, there's there's some crazy scenes. You got to have that energy up. Um, got to get ready to run from dragons and, and goblins and minotaurs and cyclopses. So uh, there's all things like that. And and obviously being safe as well while you're doing these things. There's a lot of obstacles in the way. You know, we're, we're jumping over wires. Like a couple of times wires got caught on my caught on my shoes. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> um, but thankfully, you know, we had an amazing stunt team who kept us safe. Uh, the pressure made sure to the, sure of that. And um, and yeah, I, I primarily like to do meditation, uh, whether that be like breath counts and stuff. I'll uh, take something that I learned from Addison Witt where I just, you know, inhale for four seconds, hold for four seconds, exhale for four seconds in um, in a pattern and just that lowers your heart rate, gets you more leveled. And, and yeah. Going into this new film, was there someone or some ones in particular you were hoping to share more scenes with or get more screen time with? Um, I would say probably the our wizard, you know, Jaime Hansu. He's he's so iconic. I I see him everywhere. I'm just like, oh, there's Jaime again. Oh, Jaime again. Jaime again. You know, he's just everywhere, and, and he's such a great actor and. I, I've known this since the first one and since prior to filming the first one as well. But um, the, the first one, I remember staying back on set specifically to watch a couple of his scenes when he's, um, you know, talking to himself. And as an actor, I I understand how difficult some of those scenes can be when you're talking to yourself. It, it's all in your imagination. Could could make you feel like you're kind of going schizo. But um, it, it, it's it's a fine line between uh, beautiful and, and crazy. And, and he's like, he's like right in the middle with it, with his performance. And it's so good. He, he's a brilliant actor. It's beautiful to watch. And he's just a friendly guy. And, 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 I, and I love that about him, you know, cause it's, it's always cool when you meet these people who are, you know, so big in Hollywood and, and worldwide that, uh, but they also are very humble and, and just genuine people. So yeah, d definitely jive in. <clears throat> I know you can't tease too much about some of your favorite scenes to film, but mm -hmm. what were some of maybe your favorite behind the scenes film <laughs> scenes moments to film for this one? Um, I think I could actually say it because uh, it's in the trailer. Um, <clears throat> if anything, we can just cut this out. <laughs> but uh, I would say probably when we're all in the 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 battle the the um what do you call it the minivan or, or the van um our yellow bus and uh you know we're, we're driving and we got all these minotaurs these cyclopses these um these these monsters these gods and creatures that are they're attacking us um we're just kind of looking around like whoa and it kind of feels like you know you're on a ride you're just you're just seeing all these things there's fire rising from camaros and and Mustangs, and there's tires rolling down the street, there's wires falling off the cord and going all crazy with sparks. Um, so it's just like you would think this is like a roller coaster at, at Universal or something, like the Transformers, right? <laughs> uh and, and and yeah, so so that was probably one of my favorites because we're all together, the kids and um uh Marta and Cooper were there, and it was just it was so cool. And and I personally love muscle cars, so to see a muscle car on fire. That was just like that's that's a once in a lifetime experience. David really burnt that muscle car. <laughs> so uh, bittersweet for you then to see it go up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you hope viewers take away from watching this new Shazam movie? Is there something you hope really lingers with them? Um, I I hope that they still feel that family dynamic and they feel that. Uh, we're very close and and loving and they take that uh to to incorporate into their life you know maybe you haven't been as friendly to your mother as you want to be you know what i mean or or understanding so i definitely want people to, to take away kindness and take away um compassion and stuff like that empathy uh all great things that we humans are capable of and um <clears throat> for sure 
I want them to take away uh, something positive, no matter what that may be, as long as it's positive, you know? Certainly, there's so many positive things about this movie, and it's very uplifting. What does it mean to you to be a part of the Shazam franchise? It's it's a huge deal. Uh, like, to, to this day, I, I kind of don't feel like it's real, but I know it is. It's uh, it's such a surreal feeling. I, I'm I'm very grateful for for the opportunities that I've been given with with this uh, franchise, and um, you know, as a as a comic book character fan, I, I I started off in love with Superman, then then I started moving on to the Flash, and then Shazam, and then I started to the to the villain my like my villain enjoyment era. I like Zod, Joker, a couple of different ones. Excuse me. Um, but I would say for sure, just because I was already a fan of these comics and Shazam was already in my life. Uh, I, I played him as like my main character on God's, uh, what's it called? Uh, Injustice, God's Among Us, um, <clears throat> on my PS4, cause, cause I'm an avid gamer. Um, you know, I kind of ha- already had like a basic understanding of Billy Batson and Shazam. But I didn't know he had this extended family, which which developed in the New Fifty Two. So, so that's that's pretty cool. What's next for you? What have you been busy working on to come? Um, primarily, um, because Shazam did take over my uh, twenty twenty one, and I you know I'm not mad at that. Uh. I started working on music because I feel like it's been a while. I, I hadn't dropped any kind of song since 2020. And I, I kind of wanted to take a step back, take a break, revamp, and figure out my sound and see how I can upgrade and, and just get some more music out this year. So that's definitely the plan. Um, Even this month, I'm probably going to be dropping at least two singles. So um, look out for that for sure. Where can people go then to keep up with the music you make and the other on-screen projects you have going on? I would say the best uh, place for that would be uh, my website, my new website. Um, I had to change the domain, so I'm going to stall it. <laughs> uh, it's Um And if anything, you can look up my name on Instagram, Twitter, uh, IMDB. It's a great way to uh, connect with me. And... Uh, you know, my music's available everywhere. YouTube music, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, I believe Pandora. I'm not too sure about Tidal, but uh, all the other ones for sure. What would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the work that you do, whether it's on screen or whether it's musically? Uh, I would say <clears throat> if it's, uh, you know, you're a fan of my work, thank you. I appreciate that very much. If it inspires you, if it motivates you to do the same or even follow your own dreams, whatever that may entail. I hope that you go through with it because, you know, we have a lot of people uh, preying on other people's downfall and I want to provide the opposite. I want to see you grow. I want to see you be what, what you want to be and chase those dreams. So. Thank you.